I'm really not a fan of rock picking if I can avoid it. And turn tight. Should do this from the cab, not from the uh, the drone. There we go. But some of our fields, I'm going to have to plow in and reseed. So I am going to need a cultivator. And also, if we want to do corn, I'm going to need a cultivator and a planter and we're going to lose out on um, environmental score because planters don't direct drill normally. There might be one or two, but um, I think they're, again, they're big and um, just expensive. Okay, two more. And we're off to the store again, I think. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five. We'll come back to this field for these. And take them back to the yard and feed them to the cattle feeder. This, these fields are not nearly so complicated to get to the store from. Uh, where is it? Yes, it's that one. No, it's not that one. It's the next one down. Ooh, nearly made the wrong turn there. this one here and get lots of weeds in that field but yeah the, the thing is with a direct seeder you end up with medium weeds at germination um, so it's kind of the choice do you want to um, cultivate and get rocks and then plant and get small weeds or do you want to just direct drill and get medium weeds uh, medium weeds, you need at least a hoe if you're going to do mechanical um, or spraying equipment. And I am going to, when we plant our, um, our second arable field, I am going to fertilize it first and then weed it and see if we have an issue. Um, like that. Because we do have a 10% drop in yield on our uh, canola field, and I'm not sure if that is related to using herbicide on it or not. But if it is, then we'll probably be avoiding spot and spray on weeds. Just so that we can get yield rather than environmental score. Because the way I'm looking at it is... If I can get my environmental score to a point where I'm typically getting about 13% bonus payment. And if I do weeding properly, then I get 15% bonus payment. So an extra 2% bonus payment 
but I'm losing 10% of my yield. I'd much rather have a higher yield with 2% income penalty than I would to be having a... Uh, um, uh, what is it? A 10% drop in yield and a 15% bonus. Plus keeping a 15% bonus is quite a challenge, I think. Okay, so we've got five hay bales left. We'll just take these back to the yard and give them to the cows. There's a track. Hmm. Wonder where that one goes. do with a clean but we're just going to take it out into the fields tomorrow so we'll skip that for now Also got a ton of silage which should be ready to sell now. It was around about 95% this morning when we started. Uh, if that's ready to go, I might just take that down to the store as well. I'm gonna have to figure out which which one to take it to. To 50. I didn't notice how much we made for selling those bales. It was a full tank of stuff though, so let us money. Sold vehicles 14,000. So we got about 13,000 from the full amount of bales. I can now collect all of these and went back up to 107 so that's nice. Did I leave myself enough room to get through here? Good question. so much. <laughs> okay, did that. Now, oh, it's Longhorner's favourite game. Oh, even worse. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, not from that direction. this shed is less than ideal. 
However, the fact that the bales are just images and not real does mean that for the most part that did just work. Barely. From the other direction, I'm not quite so sure. Although that said, um, obviously uh, coming from the other direction would have been a better idea because of the unload or the loading arm. Now, what am I stuck on? Okay, so... I think the next thing is... Uh, yes, we are silage. from the middle. Okay. A uh, little bit of cheating. Because we're not going to be able to get this into into the silage bunker. If it was an open-ended one, it probably could. For a ride on the uh, loader. Why is that not working now? in the tractor. Weird. Tab. Okay, tab worked. For some reason I got bugged. Couldn't get in. And yeah, part of the deal here is, obviously, I need these all moved out before we bring the next round in. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Let's ride the bale lifter. Okay, how are we doing? Seven more. So we got more than we need. I might just throw the rest at the cows again. Just because that's a thing we need to do. 
So yeah, after last week, I was considering maybe field, f was it 54 we seeded? Um, oh, I turned off all the, the crops because why not? Not going to bother with that one. Um, that's fine. Okay, that's the major crops. Um, yeah, we we seeded that with wheat last week. Um, potentially, I could buy that one. Just because it could be a plan. And oh, we got five left. I can't reach the fifth one. I think me riding the bale loader um, was uh, one of the reasons I couldn't get in the tractor. Yeah. Okay, so that's all of those. Now we just have to figure out where to take them and how about we uh, lift the arm as well. Okay, best price for silage is... Eeny, meeny, miny buy a gas plant. Mm. Not too worried about is it the best price. Um, I could be. Oh, you. But the thing is, is we're going to be cutting, or oh, we've just finished cutting, so um, the stuff we're about to bale will be ready to sell in November which is a better price but then in November we've got another field to cut which once baled and fermented will be best price December and December is the best price for silage so I'm not too fussed about having to take yeah, we're not getting the best price on this one. We're getting a price and we're kind of still building the farm so we need the money. Like I said, having that pickup arm on the right is not ideal. There should be probably a UK version of this where the pickup's on the left. So all I'm doing is dragging it through hedges and lampposts. Also, the other nice thing about this tractor is it's got the uh, not quite 40 mile an hour gearbox, which um, frequently a lot of tractors in this range are limited to about 32. So it's, it's also fast. It's a bit plasticky inside, but you know. Sometimes you just have to live with that. And still needs a clip. Okay, well we're done with the bale trailer for now. Um, once we've delivered this lot, we're pretty much good to go. Um, the next thing will be obviously baling and wrapping, or yeah, baling and wrapping our field of grass and then I need to um, set it up for crop next year and this is going to be a, another arable field um, it has it's predominantly loam I think with a little bit of um, clay so obviously the clay is not the greatest but with the loam definitely a good thing 
Okay, hopefully this has capacity in it. I haven't put any of my bales in for a while. But they're 7,500 times 24 is lots. So also another reason to sell this um, little and often is because I can exceed the capacity of the BGA. So 31,000, so it's pretty much twice as much as we got for the hay. And our environmental score looks to be about 11, 12%. But we are now done with this piece of equipment. And I need to hitch back up on the, the rake. Um, we will probably sleep and then get into our field tomorrow. I kind of... Oh, it's going to rain overnight. Well, that's fun too. Um, I kind of don't like um, leaving a field in a moan state without clearing it. Um, part of the reason for that is because um, the field can grow and so if you want to do something on the field it'll grow and uh, that can be a problem I remember back in 19 if a grass field grew, if, if you cut a grass field on a contract and then waited till the next day to bale it um, you would end up being unable to complete the contract because it would say, well, the field's not mowed. Um, the problem was it wasn't ready to harvest either, and so you could never get it completed. So you kind of want to get the you know, fields fully worked in one day. Now, the difference here is... My observations indicate that uh, growth happens on the midnight at the beginning of a month. So we're on October 1, we have three days in October, so there will be no growth in any of our fields until November 1. Um, and it is what it is, so uh, there will not be any growth of grass Where's the entrance? Right there. Um, there will not be any growth of grass in our field until November 1, by which time we're going to have it cleared, so not a big deal. Um, okay, this needs to go in the long shed with our other long wagons. This is probably the shed we're going to put the. Uh, I was thinking about putting the harvester in, but uh, maybe that's not going to happen. That's good. Disconnect. Thank you. Oh, one of these is a bale spike. I th think it might be that one. Or maybe that's the three point spike. Oh. oh, I just drove over it. There you go. Found it.
Now we should be able to hitch to that. I just need to get closer. There it is. Okay. We could do this for much closer. I don't have to be watching this from the drone in low orbit. Stab. The robot will not make any more food until I get some more minerals. And I think for minerals I want to find another um, small tipper, and I mean small tipper. somewhere in about the 8,000 litre range that I can use for moving grains around the yard when we get pigs and just take to the store and fill up with minerals or seed or anything else like that. I wonder if there's a small auger, seed tender, something like that. That's the thing, there's a, there's a lot of equipment I'm used to being in the regular game from 19 that isn't, but is a mod now. Um, and, you know, things like all of, mo a lot of the Anderson kit is, um, is made by Giants, but um, it's, it's a mod. So you have to load each one individually. I would make an observation that if you liked the Cavernland kit, um, each one of those is available in 22, but as a separate mod. And the exact same equipment is available in Orange with the Kubota um, equipment pack, which is also a mod. But you get all of it in one pack rather than some of it, um, you know, each individual piece. So, for example, let's go sprayers, because we have the Convernland sprayers. Um, and this is, you know, these, I think it was these two is one pair, this is another one. Um, then there's the mowers and there's the wrappers. Or the Kubota equipment pack has this one, this one, and this one, and also um, this one. So you just need to add one mod to your list, and they're all there, as opposed to having to pick and choose which ones you want to add. In a way, I kind of like the. Uh, I probably use the Kubota pack more frequently than 